Today, a very quick tutorial on how to make spiral vector art in Adobe Illustrator. It's a lot easier than you might think. What is up people, welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, homographic design content right here on YouTube. So, let's go ahead and make some vector spiral art in Illustrator. The first thing that we need to do is to locate the spiral tool, which can be found under the line segment tool if you hold down a click. Simply click once on the canvas and then type in your measurements. The numbers that you type in will have different final outcomes on the spiral art itself. So just experiment with these numbers to begin with. But I will say the larger the segment value, the more that your spiral shape will curve around. Once you've created the spiral, press V for the selection tool and then move it off to one side. That's pretty much half of the components that we need to make the spiral vector art. So now press L for the ellipse tool and whilst holding down shift, click and drag to make a circle. Now hold down the Alt Option key and click and drag to make a duplication of the circle. And if you want to activate the smart guides, which are the magenta lines you can see on screen, you need to press Command or Control U. This will show you when objects are level. Now hold down Shift and the Alt Option key at the same time to scale up the circle exactly in its position. If you have your scale stroke settings activated, the new circle is going to be thicker than the previous one. And to make it the same thickness, just press I for the eyedropper tool and then sample from the first circle like so. Once you have two circles like you can see on my screen here, you can now go ahead and change the colours in the colour palette. Try and use two different colours that work together in harmony because ultimately they're going to be blended together, as you'll see shortly. Select both circles and then head up to Object, Blend and Blending Options. You will want to use the Specify Steps option and try to use something like 20 for now. Then click OK and head back into Object and then Blend, but this time hit Make. You should end up with something that looks like this on my screen here. Now we're ready to actually perform the final step in today's Spiral Vector Art tutorial. The size of the spiral compared to the circles will actually determine the final outcome and how closely packed together your spiral effect is. Again, it will take some experimenting with. But when you're ready, select both objects and go up to Object, Blend and then Replace Spine. You should end up with something that looks like this. All we need to do now is to open up the blending options, check the preview box and then change the measurements of the steps used. This requires yet more experimentation and also some trial and error. But just have some fun with it guys, and see what kind of vector spiral art you can make in Adobe Illustrator. It's Friday, and so whatever you get up to today, have fun and make sure to take good care of yourself. Enjoy your weekend, and I will be back on Monday with more graphic design content. So like, share and subscribe to Tutorial Graphics, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.